welcome back to my channel. With spring around the corner, I've been dreaming of Paris in the springtime. I'd love nothing more than to sit at a cafe with a nice crusty baguette, smothered with French butter and jam alongside a delicious brunch cocktail. Since I likely won't be living that dream anytime soon, I felt the need to create the perfect brunch drink. For my perfect Parisian holiday brunch, modeled after a fresh baguette with butter and jam, a classic Parisian breakfast. It would need to mix the velvety rich taste and mouthfeel of butter and the bright sweet fruity notes of jam. My mind immediately went to a kir, which is simply composed of white wine and creme de cassis, sometimes with a lemon twist. To achieve the buttery flavor, I'm choosing an oaked French Chardonnay. I will be sticking to the classics and using creme de cassis which is made from black currants that will add the sweet and fruity element. I also have this really beautifully aromatic Paris tea by Harney and Sons. It's a black tea that has been spiced with vanilla, currants, and bergamot. The tea will add some extra body as well as accentuate the cassis flavors. I didn't want to brew the tea and add it to the wine as this is already a pretty low ABV cocktail. And I didn't want to dilute the drink, so I'm going to infuse some cognac with the Paris tea. The tea on its own is pretty mild, so I will be adding quite a bit to the cognac. Two teaspoons of tea to four ounces of cognac. I will let this infuse for 10 to 12 hours. I want the flavor to be really strong on this, so it's okay to let it sit for even longer if you like. After the cognac has been infused, I will simply strain out the tea leaves. The color has really darkened from the tea, but that's okay it won't affect the final product. Once the tea has been strained off, I will be fat washing the tea infused cognac with unsalted European style butter. I'm going to heat one tablespoon of butter until it starts to sizzle. Then I'll let it foam for 30 seconds to a minute. Now, I will just let the butter cool off for a moment or two, until it's no longer sizzling. After the butter has cooled, I will add it straight into the tea-infused cognac and whisk to incorporate. Fat washing with butter can be tricky, especially since I'm not clarifying the butter. If you do not render the butter enough, the fat won't freeze and it will be nearly impossible to remove the residual fat. If you heat the butter for too long or too hot, the milk solids will brown, or worse yet, they could burn. Brown butter is delicious, but it just doesn't fit the flavor profile I'm after. Now, I'm just going to pop this in the freezer until the butter solidifies. You can let this sit for a few hours or overnight if you like. After the butter has solidified, I'm simply going to strain it off. The cognac will be a much thicker texture due to the milk solids from the butter as well as some of the fat. I definitely want that rich buttery texture in the drink, but I also want the final product to be clear. So now I will do a quick clarification. Since the cognac has already been treated with dairy, I will be using whole milk to clarify. To my four ounces of brandy, 
I will add one ounce of milk and let it sit for a moment while the curds break from the whey. I have a video on how I make milk punch that goes into more depth on the subject. I will link it in the description box below. Since the fat content is higher due to the butter, I needed a little bit more acid to break the milk. So I added a splash of wine. After the curds have formed, all that's left to do is run it through a filter to clarify. For this, I'm using this teeny tiny nut milk bag. I attached it to the handle of my strainer to keep it suspended inside this pitcher. This is going to take two to three passes until it's completely clear, and most of the pigment has been absorbed by the milk curds. This was the first time I ever clarified a fat-washed spirit, and the result was really interesting. The richness still remained, but the cognac really softened, and while the flavors of the Paris tea remained, they were also softer without the tannins from the black tea. Once the clarification is complete, we can build our cocktail. To begin, I'm going to add 4 ounces of Chardonnay to my wine glass. After the wine, I will add 3 quarter ounce of the butter and tea cognac. Lastly, I'm adding a half ounce of creme de cassis. Typically, I'd stir the cassis in there until it's incorporated with the wine, but I liked how it looked settled at the bottom of the glass. I would definitely order this for a brunch cocktail. It looks like a simple cure, but once you drink it, the weight of the drink really is kind of mind-blowing. It's so rich from the butter, but also has a nice acidity from the wine and just the right amount of sweetness from the creme de cassis. As always, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all next week with a new cocktail recipe. Have a great week!